Alrighty, well it is the afternoon, well evening actually, it's about 5.30 in the evening on a Thursday and I have retreated from my house and the children and responsibilities and everything and I am going thrifting at the Mel Trotter Ministry Store here in Sparta, Michigan. I really just felt like getting out so we're going to go in and see what we can find. first and see what kind of furniture they have available. It's a cool old stool. Some toddler beds. And some art. And some pottery. It's just cute. Yeah, it's like new. Don't need a sofa. It's a nice dresser. It's original price. And I'll put the prices down based on the date, how long it's been here. I love owls. Mm. Mm, there's another one. So we're going to have to do a voiceover here because their music was quite loud. So I'll just kind of tell you what I'm seeing and things that I find and decide to get. This is a vintage divided tray, Maurice of California. And I kind of liked it, but I also kind of didn't and it's heavy and meh. If I'm meh about something, I don't tend to pick it up. So over here, we've got some mugs. I do like to look at the mugs, and if they're a good price, I like to pick them up, especially the vintage ones. Vintage ones I can sell for a couple dollars in my resale booth, and they go pretty quick. It's like a sure sale, so it's good to keep stocked in those. Pretty red teapot. I have a green one that looks sort of like that, and it's apparently worth something, but I can't remember the brand of it now, which doesn't help us talking about it right now, but hey. And do please forgive my videography skills, it's, I'm still trying to figure out how to best record while I'm out, while well, trying to be kind of inconspicuous. <laughs> C-3PO! A lot of their mugs are priced like between like a buck fifty and two dollars so really they're just not in my price range to pick up a single mug here or there. I thought that was kind of funny. I wonder if it was color change. Might have been. I wasn't that curious. Yeah, that one was like, what was that one, three? Oof, yeah, I don't do three for mugs. I just kind of felt this one. 250 for that, oof. How about no? Then I liked this one, the look of it is just, I really like the look of that, but for $2.30, I could probably get five for it in my booth. So I like to price things accessibly in my resale booth. Oof. Forgive the spin. Snacks are for sharing. <laughs> I love this little egg plate. Easter is coming and I have a couple egg plates in my booth right now. I thought about that one but eh. I just didn't think it was special enough. This one I loved. The milk glass with the gold rim and the beautiful detail, but it was $9 and just too much for me. And at the moment, I'm kind of focusing on stocking my booth with items. eBay, I've been kind of lazy with lately. I did end up grabbing this. I didn't even look it up, but I like the look of it. What does it say? Hans Ceramics. And it was 5 
And I can probably get 15 for that in my booth. Yeah, I still didn't look that up. I should, I should look it up. I like these colors, but those cups were three, and I don't like selling odd numbers, unless it's like a single. I can sell a single, but not. Limoges, of course, gorgeous, but at 13 for the pair, no. This is neat. Looked like California pottery, was it? I don't remember. Nope, that's Arnell's ceramics. Similar to California pottery. But again, just a little little high for my booth. Got the silver trays down here. Some more snack bowls. I thought this looked really neat. It looked kind of old, but again, it wasn't marked. And then I once I had it in my hands, it was it felt more modern. You know, it was strange. We got some depression glass there. I don't generally pick up depression glass. The resale shop that I sell in is overrun in depression glass. And I just check out the other glasses here, see if I can find anything special. These wine glass pairs. I've been picking up wine glass pairs. They seem to do pretty well in my booth, even like really pretty single wine glasses, if they're big and decorative and pretty, those will go pretty well as well. I don't remember if I grabbed either of those. My bag is still in my car. <laughs> I liked the look of this. The lines of the items and this, the colors were really great, but I'm not really into dish sets. And that one was priced reasonably well, and the pitcher had its lid, so I don't know, maybe I could have picked that up, but meh. Nope, another wine glass, champagne glass, flute, whatever. I don't know the difference. I drink my wine out of a cup. <laughs> oh. Lots and lots of just common things. Some Corel. Oh, this was a Sandra Boynton mug. I love collecting these for myself, Sandra Boynton. I love her children's books and all that, but that one was $2.30, and I just I don't like to pick up mugs for that much, even for myself. This is a little tin retro-looking recipe box. Ohio Art really good shape and what was it two bucks buck 99 I think yeah I grabbed that we got some kitchen appliances over here and I can see some more pottery pieces over here so I'm making my way over giving you a good look oof Meh. And I liked this one. But very modern. I was checking to see if maybe, I mean, it wasn't decorated, decorated or anything, but if it was Pioneer Woman. Keep your eyes open for Pioneer Woman ceramics. They can do quite well. Um, there's a cow creamer that does very well and also a rolling pin. If you look at the comps and the sold items on eBay for pioneer woman you'll see I love this little planter it was a good little price a sweet little cardinal and I'm starting to deck my booth out in more spring items and I think planters are kind of spring items so <laughs> I did grab that it's only a couple dollars really good shape too I didn't see any chips or cracks those were plastic mm. What are we going over here? There's some ball jars. I like these milk glass things. Little single server thingies. I think, what were they? I, couldn't, I can't read that. Were they Fire King? But I think they were like three bucks each and meh. You know, that lid doesn't even match. 
clear glass. I got a lot in the auctions that I've been winning and I have it priced really low in my booth. Those were cute, but no. I'm trying not to pick up much more clear glass because I get so much in the auctions. And my booth is overrun. This was adorable. I probably would have grabbed this if it didn't have a modern sticker for $2.50. <laughs> or if it were bigger. I would have picked it up if it were bigger. What is that? False graph? Just a single canister? I'm very meh about all this stuff here. That was cute, but $3 and meh. Again. It's very strange here. They have some things priced really, really accessibly and then some things just kind of out. I mean, it's fine for people picking it up, but not, you know, not for resellers. <laughs> I've also stopped shopping for clothing here at the Mel Trotter. They are just priced so high for what I like to pay for thrifted used items for myself and my family. I'm not buying clothes to resell right now. Ooh, the pink stuff and the red stuff. This had a nice look. It was pretty lightweight. Made in China. More modern. So I did leave that. Hmm. I like the red ceramics. Princess ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. I almost got that for my sister. But she and her family are tiny house living in their um, fifth wheel camper and they travel. Well, they're in the south right now, I think. <laughs> I think that's where they are, I don't know. They're in the southern United States. Getting snowed on, that sucks. That was a spongeware bowl, but it wasn't marked, and it was a little high. Milk glass hobnail at $6. I liked it, but $6, again, just meh. Too high for me. This lovely little planter. I liked that. It was really cool. Bloom Right, I think was the name of that, and I didn't see any comps when I looked it up, so meh. Again. I'm sorry, I say meh quite a bit. But that's how I feel about a lot of this stuff. Red glass, I love red glass, but you can see the flash is starting to scrape off the bottom of that. This little pot was really cute. The little chip on the top, though, and then made in China stamp. It was, I liked it, but no. Not with the chip. A little frosted glass vase. Probably hand painted. I did leave that behind. There's some plain green vases, and those are like a dime a dozen. Another frosted vase right there. I didn't even look at it. Those green vases I've looked at here before and they're new. Like, new stock. This I liked, but it was quite worn out, the paint on it. It was pretty though, but I did leave it. Well, here we have some figurines. And that frosted glass thing looks like the bottom of a fairy lamp, but try not to collect pieces. Famous last words, I actually picked up an amber glass fairy lamp top recently. <laughs> Don't really know what these were, but for $2.50, I wasn't going to find out. That's cute, but we've got the red made in China sticker. It's like a dollar store item usually. I've found anyway. It's a cute little trinket box, but... Yeah, we're just looking for the little diamonds in the rough, you know, the stuff that I'm finding to be meh, and then you find the really cute or really good stuff in there. I like finding the stuff that people don't know much about, and they price them 
accordingly. <laughs> they have an excellent staff here at this thrift store and they know what they have. And they do, in all fairness, they do price their vintage items excessively for, you know, just people coming in to shop for themselves. So I don't want to think I don't like this thrift store. I do like it, but the opportunity for resellers at this one is not as high. But it's still fun. We got some Peter Rabbit stuff, and I'm just personally not into Peter Rabbit. I don't know why, but no. I just don't take any Peter Rabbit anything. And these were new stock, like initial dishes, and they were at two fifty a piece. Yeah. Got some cool stuff over here. Like that rocking horse was plastic. That was a small teapot. You know, I can't remember if I picked this up. I liked it. It was three dollars. It was like a little hobbyist piece. Oh, two fifty, not three. Like a little hobbyist piece napkin holder, and I liked it. I don't remember if I picked it up though. I really should get my box and bags out of the car and film a haul. Maybe. Well, I know I will, I just, you know. Need the time to do it, and the kids are on midwinter break. I was a little resin planter, and he was kind of funny. He was cute. But no. Now we've got a chip and dip, but there's no bracket for the dip. It's a made in Japan teapot. And I did kind of like it, but I did leave it. Green glass! Hmm. Just some modern stuff and just some not very special green glass. And I did like the look of this pitcher. It's like a nice bright green. That would have been good for spring. How much was it? I left it for a reason. Five dollars? Eh. I probably could have sold that in my booth, but I probably would want some matching glasses to go with it. And this was really cool. It is a hand-blown pitcher, as you can see the pontel on the bottom there. But I left it. I think it was priced around nine dollars. Some little modern tin boxes. Did I buy that? I think I bought that because it was funny. I don't remember. This was a couple days ago and my memory is not as good as it used to be. That was really lightweight and just it felt cheap. This, I really like this. It's a, like a vintage frosted glass lotus flower compote or whatever and they had it priced at $9 and that's right on point for a collector. And I'm not collecting glass right now because I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> hmm. Trays, tiles, more trays, a clock. And some pretty little flower plates. Those probably would have been alright. Ooh, keys! Brass key holder keys. Now I did pick up the little one at three dollars. I can easily do ten, maybe twelve in my booth for that one. And I like brass. Brass flies out of my booth like it's going out of style. Because it probably is actually going out of style. It had its moment. Or it is having its moment? I don't know. Hollywood Regency I think is still doing well. Anything ornate. These look like Jasper Ware, but they are repros. It's flat painting. On glass, I mean, it's not even ceramic. It's Or porcelain, it's glass. They have an interesting look to it, but then you see they have these little applied jewels, and that just screams cheap. <laughs> and it wasn't applied after the fact. I mean, you can see on this one, I think I get a close-up. Did I? No, I didn't. But inside the flowers on that big one, you could see the little indent where the jewels have come off. That was gorgeous. Made in Poland, and I considered it. 
until I saw the price tag of 10 bucks. And I'm like, eh, no. <laughs> hmm, look over here. And some new old stock things and some wood things and some grass things and <laughs> some wicker doll furniture, which can probably do well. I don't look up wicker doll furniture. Some modern yellow bottles. I was picking that picture up to flip it over because it had fallen down. That was new. Well, not like new, new, but, you know, very, very modern. Hmm. Those vases I probably would have picked up had they been like a dollar or two each, but not for four. Hmm. Orange glass. See, I don't look at the art here. They do price their artwork well, but you know, not for me. I do sometimes look for the artist that I collect because his stuff, he's got a lot of stuff. He did a lot of paintings. Robert Cox, he does um, still life florals and vases, roses and all kinds of things. I think I have like 11 of his paintings now lining my hall. That was new. It looked vintage, but it was new. And there was a TJ Maxx label on the bottom. That was cute. How much was it? Was it like $3? Yeah, I was on the fence about that, but did end up leaving it behind. It seemed kind of specific, you know, like a specific taste. A little more spongeware. That was priced out of my price range, too. And I like the blue sponge wear better anyway. <laughs> hmm. There's some more ceramics. And I have more vintage things over here. You can see the sleeve board there. The gold was worn off of that way too much for it to be $5, so I didn't grab that. Some silver plate, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness. Some silver plate salt and peppers with their little dust bag. Ten bucks for this. This is a, what was it, Sheffield, did that say? Little pewter teapot. That was cool. So I was looking at it just because I was interested in learning about it. Huh? If you saw my haul, my auction haul before, I recently got one of these. I'm just taking a peek at their milk glass too and they they're priced well. I think they're like five bucks each. It's not bad, but not for my booth. Eh, maybe I should have. I don't know. I hear milk glasses coming back, but I just, I just don't know. Hmm. I look like a vintage neti pot. You know, the kind you use to rinse out your nasal cavity. The flash on that was scratched off too, but I like the shape of it. Some USA pottery, vintage at six. Some Coke bottles. I was not I don't grab stuff like that for my son's Coke collection. Just oof. Pretty, but not for fifteen. Yeah, I like the more interesting Coca Cola items. This pottery was really pretty. I think if I didn't have children, I might buy that for myself. <laughs> These were nice. Candle holders, I'm pretty sure. I was looking for a signature, didn't see any. Two pieces for four, maybe, but no, I didn't grab those. And that's a wood carved sand dollar. At three, I decided against it. I do like carved wood items. I have some animals in my booth right now. I'm about to put some more in there, actually. Easter stuff. 
These egg cups were adorable. Oh, these are just like a resin something or other, but they were in good shape. There weren't any cracks or missing pieces, and it was three bucks for all five. That was cute. I did end up grabbing the egg cups, but I didn't grab them right there, but I did buy those. Cute. I probably should have grabbed that. Made in Italy. Pink basket. Oof. I'm kind of kicking myself for leaving it behind at four. See, I even did the maybe hand motion there. This guy is so cute. And yep, 250 as is. And his butterfly, as you can see, is broken off there. Which is too bad because he was so cute. Some candles. An egg wreath. This guy was cute too. And we're at the end of my thrifting trip here. I'm just gonna look at a few more th little Easter things. There's a really cute little stuffed bunny up here that I wanna take a peek at. Oop, hmm, a little woven basket. That I thought that was really pretty, but souvenir. This little bunny, not the pink one, this one. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I didn't get him, but I thought he was adorable. Doesn't he look so cuddly? <laughs> Thanks guys for joining me. I'll see you again soon.